Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the comparison of these two cases. Here we are talking about cases for the OnePlus 10 Pro, but it's actually not about the OnePlus 10 Pro. It's more about these camera slider protectors. I think these are the two main brands which we have here. On the left side we have the Nilkin and on the right side we have this one which actually doesn't have a main brand. As far as I know it's sold uh, under about 10, 20, 30 different brand names. But both are available as far as I know for almost every phone, Samsung, iPhones and so on. And so it's a good thing to compare them here side by side. So this one here, uh, which has this stand and this magnet, actually it's not a magnet, it's just a uh, metal as you can see. I mean, it's not uh, magnetic at all, but it has some metal, so it can be used for some magnetic holders. We have also this uh, ring here, which you can use for selfies or as a stand. We have also this uh, holder here for one credit card. I've tested it and it worked. You can push it in and then here a little push it back, but it's difficult to grab here, uh, but you can manage to do that, uh, especially when you uh, wet your hand a little bit, then you can grab it. So these things are not available here. The only thing which we really have is the camera protection here and of course also here. So what's the main difference? Here is this one. It, it opens the camera to the right side and here it opens it down. So the difference is here it's a little bit bit uh, coming out of the frame here it sticks within the hole like a phone frame here i've been thinking about the issue that this slider comes a little bit outside and first i've been thinking that's a negative point or like a disadvantage but finally after using it some time i found it rather an advantage because with some other cases which have slider down and you don't have this thing outside you are not aware of that you left the slider open here you will definitely notice when you forgot to close it so this can be also quite some advantage here i would say this uh, camera protection is a little bit more robust it's very thick this one is pretty thin but i would say it's still enough it's decent we can both uh, pull out fully can see yeah it's definitely enough uh, also when you're having your phone let's say in your pocket and then you're pushing against something i think there's some decent protection we can slide it in again here has a decent hold so it's not just opening by accident some people have been saying that i think it's not at least not at this point maybe if you have done this 1000 time but i think at the moment it's easy to open usually stops here and then we can close it more or less easily here it's a different thing i mean at the moment it works decent we can open and close it with one hand works really easy but at the beginning when i bought it i had to open it like that I had to use two thumbs and pull it down and usually it would then be removed from the case and uh, of course you can also uh, put it back yeah again i think this one uh, this protection is a little bit harder than this one so it has maybe a little bit better protection but you can now also open and close it but again i had to uh, send this uh, things off here on the side there are some like camel bumps here here uh, at these four uh, corners and i had to sand them down here a little bit and now it's working almost perfectly i haven't heard that from other people i don't know what they are doing maybe they have so tough hands that it doesn't matter but really at the beginning i haven't been able to use this with one hand so i'm pretty sure it's not only with my case but also for other cases maybe it's just a thing with the case for the oneplus 10 pro i don't know i have also checked some reviews about the uh, iphone uh, nilkin iphone case and i haven't seen that but for me it was absolutely crazy i couldn't open that no way uh, i could do that with one finger and i almost broke off my fingernails and i don't have a very weak finger fingernails it was just too tough but again you can fix that then regarding the openings here they are pretty much same or very similar both uh, have the openings uh, on the right 
place the openings are large enough it's very important to have a really wide USB-C like the charging port openings I have seen some cases which have very narrow ones then you have some problems when you have a really a wide plug so with both of them it works really nice I think the one here with the Nilkin is a little bit wider here that can be a plus of course I have here attached this hand strap here that's not a part of the case I've just put it here you can see there's a hole here also here I had it here before when I was using the Nilkin case works also unfortunately they don't have a dedicated opening or like two openings for a hand strap but you could also drill something small holes here or use this thing here has been working good uh, other than that they are very comparable or similar we have also these extra buttons here and both work in a very similar way absolutely no complaints so you're not pushing the buttons of your phone you're pushing the like the buttons here on the case and also on this side for the volume up and down exactly same thing they have also the opening here on top whatever that is but then there's a huge difference here regarding the notification slider uh, with this one here with the Nilkin it's almost impossible to move you almost need uh, something like a screwdriver or long nails and then you can somehow push here inside but it's super hard to do here with this case it's much easier you can see it's a little bit resist and then you can easily uh, slide this notification slider up and down but here it's really super difficult one advantage for the Nilkin is that it's a little bit more flexible uh, it's easier to put on and take off also in general I think this has a little bit softer material this has a little bit harder material maybe we can hear that there's not a huge difference but I would say the drop protection here is a little bit better we can see these extra bumpers here in the corner here we don't see that but it has a little bit more material here anyway maybe here even a little bit better protection because there's a lip I mean when we have the phone here inside it works for both of the phones and then what's important here in on this side in, in the corners it's a little bit overlapping the phone so it's a little bit higher than the phone so if it falls down like on the screen there's still some decent protection here and also here also for the Nilkin it's a little bit higher but here you can see it's bent a little bit less here than here here it's uh, overlapping a little bit more so I would say when they are falling down like that with the Nilkin it's more likely that the phone will fall out of the case with this one here I think it's harder to fall out and so this could be an advantage even though it's not super soft I think the protection overall could be a little bit better here but the most important parts here are I would say here the, the slider which we can still use here we cannot use the slider and the camera slider itself so there's quite some risk if you buy this Nilkin that you have to sand off these uh, camel bumps here a little bit to make it fit to make it work here here no problem you can buy it put it on and that's it and we have a little bit of extra functions I think it's a little bit bulkier than the Nilkin in general especially here but on the other hand it's also a little bit more stable this is uh, extremely wobbling around this is also a little bit unstable but less definitely less than this one here let's say if you have this phone here on the desk and you are typing then it's definitely wobbling with this one here it's also doing that but it's definitely less it's it's more flat you can see I wished it would be totally flat but it's close to flat here uh, not at all but both of them have their advantages and disadvantages so it's a little bit hard to give you any kind of recommendation but I hope you got all the points all the advantages and disadvantages and so I'll put down the links of both of them down into the description so you can check them out and order the one which you like more for you and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time